week we are in Tasmania. We're in Hobart. I'm doing some wire walking over the enclosure of the Tassie Devils at the Bonnarong Wildlife Park. They've given me this cool jacket to wear. <laughs> Sexy. And this is the Salamanca Market. We're doing a teaser show on the lawn in about 10 minutes. Um, so I'm going to be up there. It's a beautiful market. One of the busiest in Australia. And uh, I can already hear some buskers, but uh, let's see what fun we have. Around the park all through the day, but up, up until about four, by which time it's bloody freezing and we'll all want to be packing up and going. A, a special family park for two adults and two children. Okay. What and then on the door, it's eight dollars an adult and four dollars a child. Where the blue hibernation as well. Um, I think you should station there because it's. This is the flat area of the park um, and you can interact with people on those three main exhibits. I'm working I'm walking <laughs> along with the runners of Bonnerom. I'm here with Prue. Hello. <laughs> Say hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Hello <laughs> all you gorgeous people watching us. And it's bitterly cold. But we've had a wonderful <laughs> breakfast and we're ready to go. We've had a big breakfast. We're going to get a busker's license because otherwise you get uh, beaten up with sticks apparently. Yeah. Oh, see, can we do it beforehand? No. Yeah, of course you can. Oh, I was sitting here. Do you want to get grouse when I thought you were going to go with steak? Is that what you get? No, that was the one you were going to give us. You gave yeah, me so the letter. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> I talked a little bit before about how cold it is here. It's so unbelievably cold. I just ran some, some water from the tap into the cup to drink it and I got a brain freeze. <laughs> so cold it is. And also, you know you're in Tasmania when your security system consists of a spoon and a latch. Oh, it's actually... Uh, uh, yep, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Where the alligators go so mean the little dog girl that I swear to the world made the alligators look. This is the food review. This is real carny food. It's fantastic. You're looking at a chunk of meat, some onions that are crystallized, the tomato sauce. We're going the barbecue sauce, which is smoky <laughs> flavor. And we're going to some of this, which is that stuff that um, <laughs> Muhammad the halal guy puts on top of your Donald burger at 2 a.m. when you've had a big night in a caravan that has nothing hygienic about it. So that's that, and it's quality. Now, I'm going to take a bite. I'm going to give it the Roy Malloy rating. Don't turn it sideways, turn it back, turn it back. I'm going <laughs> to take a bite. I'm going to give it the Roy Malloy rating between 13 and 73. Roy Malloy scale of 13 to 73, I give this a 50. It's very good, <laughs> except every time I bit that, I can feel my heart slowing down a little bit. <laughs> Love the food. I'm down in Louisiana, we're at the Wildlife Sanctuary and these are the Hobart based Tassie Devils. Um, can't see any, there's one. Hey, off he goes. This is Greg, head keeper of said Devils and we're trying to work out a way to string the wire up. The wire's going to go between two trees. One and two. We're going to get a car on the downside of this hill and it's going to pull the wire tight. More. Can you get the table and bring it up here? Yeah, not the Corey of the Triton. Everybody said it was a shame Cause her mama wasn't working on a chain gang A mean, vicious moment So 
So we managed to get a truck up here uh, for uh, a ute, and it's pulling. Okay, it's um, nearly 5 p.m. All the visitors from the park have gone home, so I get to try out the new tightrope. A couple of problems. <laughs> They've got to round up the damn animals because um, apparently I, I could easily come off the wire in training. Um, and if I do, and they're in the pen, they will go my legs, apparently. <laughs> I could lose a toe or something, I don't know. Um, I've also got a... I found out this week I've got a stress fracture in my in my shin, shin splints, and uh, it's freaking killing, so I've got some anti-inflammatories, which I'll have a go at. So we managed to get a truck up here uh, for uh, a ute, and it's pulling it tight. Um, one of the concerns I have is that that's a bit more powerful than my car, and that it might snap the wire, but... Yeah, should be, these guys are great, they're very accommodating. So, um, I'd say that's not quite the distance I usually walk on a train, so that, that's an advantage for me. But, um, let's see what happens. So I'm here with Skippy. <laughs> you want to see something extraordinary? That's my hand. You bite me, I smack you. No, bite. So these are my friends. There's heaps of them. Can you see those? Plague proportions. Pretty, aren't they? Now, this is a big male. Check it out. Those are the claws you could kill me with, aren't they? Hey? Give it a scratch. Here's your friends. You guys all think I got food, but I don't. I'm going to show you some serious claw. Look at this guy, right? You know. Check out his talons. Mess you up with the claw. I mess you up with the claw. This is how... Ooh, cop that. It's been a long couple of days, but I'm pretty happy with all that happened. Lovely people. These people are amazing. So, big, big thank you to Bunarong. Big thank you to Tazzy. Thanks to all the people who came out to watch me nearly kill myself on the tightrope. Um, had a great day. Okay, I'm here with Julia. Julia, what did you think of the Roy Malloy Circus Show? Who the hell's Roy Malloy? <laughs> Chelsea, you saw, you've been here all day? Yeah, and how did you enjoy the Roy Malloy Circus Show? Roy who? Roy Malloy, the guy on the drone. I'm here with Joan. <laughs> Joan, what did you think of the Roy Malloy circus show? Oh, I thought it was magnificent. It brought me to tears. You don't know who Roy Malloy is, do you? Not really, no. Okay. no. Wish I was dead. <laughs> Wobble gonk.